Hey. How is everyone? What games have you been playing? Let me know. Let us all know before I start recording. <laughs> Hello to everyone who's early. I see uh, we have Mod Parlnock. Hello, Parlnock. Hello, Bluefire Cecil. Sprite of Humanity. Electrival. Grimstruck. Cecil. I see a lot of liberties. This is, well, liber coffee. <laughs> Yes, so today I'm going to skim through or browse through the music, the soundtrack of Helldivers 2, which a lot of you have been requesting. And yes, I'm, hello, Brittany Knuckles. Hello, Wildfire Magni. By the way, if you saw my latest community post, you, your support, members and patrons, you have bought this teleprompter right here. I'm reading chat right here on the teleprompter, looking at you. So every time I look at chat, I look at the camera. So it's very natural. I'm talking to you. I'm reading what you say. Hellish Yvern. Is it Yvern or Yvern? Hellish Yvern, thank you so much for being a member for four months. Welcome back. I appreciate it. Yes. And I'm also so glad that you're uh, digging my League of Legends Champions theme reaction video. I wasn't sure if that was going to take off, but now I know the answer. It's going to be more. There's going to be more of it. Oh, Wyvern. All right. Perfect. Just like one of the dragon species. OG Helldivers OSD is far better. That's not what we're here to do. I didn't even know there's a Helldivers 1. <laughs> Hawk 6 Phoenix. Yeah, mod Hawk 6 Phoenix is here. Welcome our lovely mods, Parlnock and Hawk 6 Phoenix. Chat. Behave. Our mods are my trusted friends, and they have no fear of banning you if they're naughty. When I saw Hell Helldivers 2, I was like, two? <laughs> yeah, it's like Big Hero 6. Where's 1 to 5? The OST can be a little bit of an earworm. That's what I like. By the way, if you're wondering, this prop right here, this is a <clears throat> high quality replica of uh, Darth Vader's, or actually Anakin's lightsaber. It's not charged at the moment, but it has sounds and lights and it can actually attach to a dual ready blade, which is tucked somewhere in my, <clears throat> in my closet. Yeah, uh, halfway through the Liber coffee. As soon as I finish the coffee, we're going to start listening to the music, starting from a cup of Liber tea. There's 38 songs in the playlist that I found, although some of them are not official, so I'm not going to be checking out. But this is the playlist that we're following, that this is the playlist I am following, just in case. Uh, yeah. I might not be able to go through all of it because, you know, I only try to stream for two hours. That's all I can take. Two hours plus, kind of like that. Uh, but yeah. The OST isn't on... Yeah, I, I, I noticed that. It's not yet on Spotify. It seems like whoever is managing the music rights is still kind of... New. Helldivers had a max of 6,000 players. Ah, I see. Grimstruck, thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. And it says here, this is your 10th time to do a super chat. Thank you so much. You're very supportive. Thank you so much. The main theme is just flat out epic and catchy at the same time. Perfect. 
I'm glad Helldivers 2 is a huge success. Hello from Russia. The Illuminate tracks go hard. All right, let me check if everything's in order. Oh, there's some YouTube shorts, some memes. We're going to skip some of that. Yeah. All right, chat. Are you ready? Uh, if you are ready, I want you to spam cup of coffee or the, the, the mug emoji. We're just going to pretend it's Liberty. <laughs> Luke Zuccaro, main intro of the game, you mean music or cinematic? I really don't like reacting to cinematics. And this is, I'm going to tell you why. Because it loses the focus on music. I analyze music. I don't analyze animation or cinematics. I, that is not my expertise. I'm a musician. I'm a music producer. I'm a composer. Not an animator, not a film director. And I just want to focus on the stuff that I like to analyze, which is music. You put gameplay in there, you put cinematics, animation, FMV, immediately distracted. So I know a lot of you are also like requesting me to react to meet the team. The animation and the animated shorts from Team Fortress 2. And I've watched some of them offline, but I'm not gonna be making content out of it. It's not music. That's not really what I'm passionate about. It doesn't interest me, it doesn't excite me. And nowadays, you know, life is short. If it if something does not excite you, why spend time on it? Since when have I streamed on YouTube? Six years. On and off. All right, chat. Please spam all the mug emojis. I like that. Yeah. This is going to be our default. This is going to be our default um, spam for today. Spam. The, spam the cups. That's our liberty. <laughs> you can even add some pastries if you want. Hey, Brittany Knuckles. Glad to see you here. All right, chat. Let's do this. Oh, new camera angle. Um, lots to adjust. But anyway, let's go. I'm so excited. Let me just... Volume check this. Okay. All right. This is a cup of liberty. Hellish Wyvern, thank you so much. Thank you so much for the super chat. Sending this in hopes of a Sonic Unleashed OSC. Uh, okay, chat. There's been some misunderstanding here. I know maybe it's an innocent misunderstanding. I don't do reviews. I only do music analysis and reactions. Thank you for the support, Hellish Wyvern, but I don't do reviews. Reviews imply that I make, I give a score or like a rating to the songs. I don't do that. I don't feel I'm qualified to do that. I just like to vibe to the music and listen together with you. But I don't like to give scores because music is art and art is subjective. Who am I to impose a like tyrannical rating system? <laughs> I'm just some dude on the internet. Anyway, enough talk. Let's play A Cup of Liberty. This 
is the first song from this playlist, Hell Divers 2 OST. Let's go. Immediately, I can sense the heightened, like, feeling of democracy, of militarism, of a war-like anthem. You know, there's a reason why most militaries in the world employ a brass band or a marching band. There is just something so regal, so martial about the sound of brass instruments or horns playing in unison, especially in a very symmetrical, rhythmic way. This screams military. Quiet part, I like it. Now this feels like a space western because of that reverb mix. Beautiful. You can hear those, those uh, minimal synthesizers. Dun, 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 dun. And then coupled with that reverb heavy violin solo, it feels like you can imagine the vast emptiness of space and the tiny dots of the synthesizers. I, f I, I feel like they, are the, they represent the stars in the distance. And the violin, it just conveys the emptiness of space. But then, the brasses, they come back. They come back and you slowly hear them. The brasses are the grounding element of the music. This sounds so heightened in a hopeful, almost very nationalistic way, very anthemic. It 
makes you feel proud of whatever you're fighting for, even if you don't know what it is. Th there's this combination of the overly saturated major chords, all those happy sounding chords in tandem. It makes it feel so exaggeratingly positive. First off, the light motif is very simple and so easy to insert on any kind of mood. Da, 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 da. See, I only listened to it once and I, I can already recite the melody back. It's very catchy. It is indeed very catchy. and But it's also a simple micro melody that's very easy to fit in other arrangements. So if you needed like a slow version, like that ending, or maybe an angry version or happy version, or I don't know, a comedic version, it's very easy to insert that micro melody. And that's how the most iconic film scores, like Star Wars, Indiana Jones, any John Williams movie score, that's how he... <clears throat> that's how he comp uh, that's how he conceptualizes the main themes for these soundtracks. He comes to what John Williams or any of effective film composer would come up with this micro melody called a light motif, and it is intentionally made to be kind of neutral harmonically speaking, so it's easier to insert it on other arrangements or other parts of the film score or the video game score where you want to remind the listener, oh, yeah, this is the main theme. Yeah, something amazing is going to happen. But yes, those first four brass notes are an earworm. Exactly. Yeah. Phew, that was a good one. By the way, chat, we are recording this. This is being filmed... Uh, I'm filming this offline. So <clears throat> streams, uh, mu music reaction streams such as this will be edited down later on at a later date into proper edited videos. But most of the time, I usually just film myself listening to the music either on Twitch, on a private channel, or just me offline. But lately, like the past three weeks, I decided, why not let you in on the action? So here we are. <clears throat> Hydrate first. Helldivers. I feel like there's proper titles for these songs, but since there's no official OSC release yet, Whoever uploaded this, Mutaku, decided to just give generic titles. Oh, this is the Helldiver server Q music, but that's fine. We can, <clears throat> we can figure out the titles later. The important thing is the music is here. Let's go. Wow, this immediately gets the blood pumping.
Oh my God, this is so beautiful. If you take out those rhythmic synth, uh, th those rhythm sections, the synthesizer, the synth bass, the electronic drums, and you just let the brasses and the violins do their sonorous melodies, it will sound like a choral, like a choir piece, like a choir piece, a very solemn choir piece that can be used for a a more chill setting or a more what is it, solemn setting. Interesting dissonance. Your team is ready. Let's red. <laughs> Your team is ready. Get ready to deploy. Okay, there's one thing I can definitely, oh, sorry. One thing I can definitely say about that, that is a sign of a very passionate audio team, either a very passionate composer or a very passionate music team, because server queue music is usually something that is not gonna be heard in its entirety simply because maybe you just press start immediately maybe your team is immediately ready so you just enter the game cutting off the music they didn't have to go this passionate by making it a full-on complicated piece with lots of beautiful counterpoints they didn't need to do that but they clearly have a lot of musical musical thoughts and musical ideas to share. So, wow. Let's see, the next one is... Let me just let me just uh, hair maintenance, so it will look good on camera and hydrate. This next one is tutorial obstacle course music alternate version of reinforced ready theme interesting the comb is out always always all right <clears throat> one moment i hear a very noisy car speeding as if it's 
as, as if the highway is the NASCAR track. <clears throat> Still, I'm very lucky to, to be in a relatively quiet town, but sometimes there's just like one naughty driver. <clears throat> All right. Beautiful reverb or beautiful delay. That was giving me a little bit of a Star Trek opening theme vibe. Oh, wow, this is a nice callback. It's a rhythmic trope I'm, I've been hearing in the, the, the few songs we listen to. The string rhythmic session, uh, the string, the string section doing a rhythmic. Yeah, beautiful callback. Very simple, but you can, imme you can immediately feel that, oh, yeah, this is a characteristic of the soundtrack. Damn, so heroic. Like, you know, I know it's a different franchise, but in my head, immediately, I can just imagine Thor landing in a fury of thunder and lightning. <laughs> And which climactic part of the game does this music play? In the tutorial mission. <laughs> that is pretty much worthy of being a main theme for a, a movie franchise, maybe a superhero film or a military or like a militaristic film, like I don't know, something like Saving Private Ryan, kind of that vibe. But man. If this is just a tutorial music, what more epicness will I be what more epicness will I be hearing next? <laughs> All right. All right. Here's some more. Oh. What is this? Oh, another. Oh, this is a short one. This is a Helldiver tutorial fight music. Another tutorial theme. All right. <clears throat>
I like it. Short and sweet. It does seem like a reprise of the previous tutorial theme that I just listened to. But man, I am loving this sound palette that the devs chose. I'm calling it a brass wall of harmony and rhythm. And, you know, they really had, they really chose, they, they really have, and what's this? They, they, they really, I'm losing the, I'm losing the term. It's tip of my tongue. They really went crazy with this mixture of synth and brass. Synth and brass. Like a thick, thick harmonic wall of the loudest, most bright, sonorous brass instruments available in this universe. And spice it up with synth rhythms, electro drums, just a unique combination, definitely. It sounds traditionally heroic in a traditional orchestral John Williams-esque way, but it also sounds very modern because of the presence of all these electronic sounds. It's, oh my God. It's modernized nationalism, that, that feeling of a futuristic freedom. There we go. <laughs> Galactic War Map Music A. I like this chill ambient sound. This is like the calm before the storm. Melodic development, wow. Is that like a reference to the map music in Mass Effect?
I love that. Yeah, it definitely feels like the map music from Mass Effect Uncharted Worlds, I believe is the title, which I have a, a, a couple, I have an a cappella cover of it in my channel, one of my older videos. But yeah, ambient music like this mixed well with the right amount of reverb and delay always makes you feel like this vast universe waiting to be explored. This is Galactic Warm Up Music B. Lots of Galactic Warm Up Music. By the way, chat, um, I, des I decided that stream reactions will be more casual like this. We're going to listen to the entirety of the song. But in the edited videos, especially when copyright comes as an issue, I will definitely trim down some of the songs <clears throat> or maybe cut out some of the songs just to make it more entertaining to watch because some songs can get long and dragging it's good for a live stream but might not might not be good for an edited video so anyway <clears throat> galactic warm up music b let's check this out Definitely sounds like a sister song to the previous one. style of house electronic music reminds me of some of the medical procedural shows like House MD when he's figured out the solution to his problem to the medical problem this kind of music plays in the background oh yeah it's very cerebral it makes you feel smart And this is Galactic Warm Up Music C. <clears throat> That's a lot of Galactic Warm Up Music. Let's carry on. A bit more jumpy, but still kind of in the same vibe and tempo as the previous ones. I call that a harmonic jump scare. The melodic brass is back. Now we're getting serious.
damn, those brasses, whether those brasses, whether they're custom recorded for the tracks or they're fancy sample packs or sample libraries, they're recorded so well, you can hear the brightness of the metal, the metal, what is it? The metallic quality of the brass sound. You can hear it. You can hear the brightness and the tinniness. I, I don't know what the exact term, but, but you can hear it. You can feel it. You can even feel like the metal vibrating on the microphone. Wow, that escalated quickly. I like that. The progression between galactic music, galactic map music A, B, and C. There's definitely a story progression happening in it with, uh, with the heightened quality in the galactic map music C, which, which is, I think is like a progression of the intensity whether you're probably venturing into a more dangerous territory of the galaxy, or maybe you are about to face an intense, a more intense battle than the previous ones. They're definitely uh, making you feel it. This is all the, the freedom you're going to need for this next mission. <laughs> All right, hair maintenance again. I couldn't see the other side, the far side of my hair, but yeah. By the way, if you're wondering why is he not wearing headphones? I am wearing headphones, <clears throat> but it is the more hidden kind called an in-ear monitors, but it sounds like a full professional headphone. And professional musicians use this for live shows. I use this for streaming and live shows as well. All right. Drop and point stratagem loadout selection music. Damn. Now we're getting serious. <clears throat> I really love this. This combination of traditional brass and electronic rhythms. It's just so... It's just so uncommon for you to hear this instrumental combination nowadays. And I'm just enjoying it. It definitely helps give the game, the entire soundtrack of the game, its own character. The music itself, the brasses, are a character in itself. That is so beautiful. 
you're here preparing for battle. You're here preparing for battle. What will probably be one of the most intense skirmishes you've ever had. But here's this beautiful brass melody giving you a sense of hope, some emotional resonance. Oh my god, this is genius. I just realized this, that the composer or the producer, they chose the type of synthesizer that when you play it softly, it sounds smooth. But when you play it harshly, it also sounds, it also starts to become, it also starts to, it starts to sound harsh or like growly. Like a growly voice, like a blues singer's voice. Which is the same exact characteristic that brass instruments have. You can play a trumpet in a very nice, sonorous, smooth melody. But if you play it louder, it will start to sound harsh, like in a growly characteristic. So the fact that they chose to combine that kind of synth sound with a brass sound means they know what they're doing. They chose the instruments with the same characteristic, whether it's soft or loud. <laughs> oh, it's six minutes long? Why not? Let's listen to the whole thing. <clears throat> It will be edited. It will be edited down in the the YouTube video anyway.
there are some parts where you don't know if what you're hearing is an organic instrument or a synthetic instrument. And the fact that they give you this blurred feeling, is, it's like a representation of, you know, organic or organic creatures meets technology. <laughs> Okay, wow. I can imagine people enjoying this, listening to it on a loop. It's exciting. But the fact that I think there's a proper ending, I think in the game, whenever you, you end the sequence, an automated event will play the ending of the music. That's how music implementation works nowadays. There's like stems to the music and it will keep on looping. And before, you, you, they'll just stop the music, cut, cut it right in the middle <laughs> without, without warning. Or sometimes they would fade it out. But the more sophisticated audio teams, they would actually let you hear an official ending to the music that is only triggered by a gameplay event or a press of a button. And those are the non-lazy game devs. I can see why there's a lot of praise being given to Helldivers 2. <clears throat> okay, we're reaching song number eight. And some of you are, I, I believe, are waiting for the extraction music. <clears throat> I don't think I'll be able to listen to all 38 songs on the playlist. <clears throat> I just wanted to check out all of them. I, I mean, some of them, maybe 10, 10 to 15 songs. But what's the title of that Extraction song? Is it the one that's called Extraction? <laughs> Duh. Because I can skip to that. And this song called Super Earth Anthem also f looks interesting, sounds interesting. All right, the next song is 41 seconds long. Let's check this. Let's check that out real quick. And <laughs> what is this? Is this a meme? Oh, okay. Looks like it has some in-game thing going on. Let, let me just quickly check it out. It's only 41 seconds long. What the hell? <clears throat> what the hell, diver?
chip tune. I like it. Kind of reminds me of the feeling I first... Kind of reminds me of the feeling I first had when I was... When I played the Witcher arcade game within the Cyberpunk 2077 world, where they had a chiptune arrangement of the Care Morhen theme from the Witcher 3 soundtrack, which is like, oh, wow, this is cool. <laughs> but it's just like a endless runner. You're playing as Roach, I believe. But yeah. That was super cool. All right. Let me check. Uh, extraction is so good. Stratagem. Extend. Ex okay. <clears throat> Should I also check out on stream the Super Earth Anthem? You know what? I'll just check it out because th just the title alone already interests me. <clears throat> All right, let's skip ahead. Let's skip ahead to extraction theme since I think a lot of you want, want that one. Let's do that. All right, wait. Yeah, the main thing was the first one we listened to. All right. Extraction theme. Illuminate music. There's four of it. All right, let's go. Extraction theme from Helldivers 2. Definitely gives that thriller movie vibe. Maybe kind of like James Bond or a dramatic scene from the Metal Gear, the Metal Gear franchise. Halftime drum pattern just really changes the vibe. It get, it makes it sound more epic. the excitement.
most powerful unisons, unisons of democracy. You know what? This feels like this feels like a last stand music. This is your final chance. This is your last hurrah. Otherwise, you fail. So give it your all. Key change. This is it, the final scene. Everything is in slow-mo. You make it or you break it. That last cadence, dun, 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 you can't just help but salute. You won, and you're now shown the score screen or something. Or you lost and you're graded a low ranking. That ending cadence, very much like a John Williams-esque score, like maybe the final ending of Indiana Jones or, or Star Wars or the chase scene is over in, in Jurassic Park. Something like that. Very cinematic, very brass heavy, which is a favorite trope of Hollywood orchestral music. But oh man, that build up from what seems to be a more traditional harmonic sound of brasses. And then in the middle, there's this key change. And then we hear some dissonances of the strings going up, something like that. It's adding to the tension. It's adding to the dissonance, to the confusion. But in the end, the final, the final hurrah, the final moment, you're given a respite. It's the end. Whether you failed or you succeeded in the mission, it is now over. It's beautiful. <laughs> Thank you so much for the five euros, Xander and Yalnif. Thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate that. <clears throat> 
Okay. <laughs> the super chat is so bright; it's illuminating the the lens of the the, the chat of the camera and the teleprompter. <laughs> okay. How about? All right. I think I will check out three more songs. So let me know in the chat what else should I be listening to. But the next one I'll be checking out is this Super Earth Anthem. I'm very curious with just the title alone. And I'm already expecting something that sounds glorious. There's something that is salute-inducing. Tail Diver, Marching Cadence, Super Earth Anthem. There we go. <clears throat> illuminate Music. But there's four Illuminate Music. Illuminate Music A, B, C. Okay, maybe we'll save the Illuminate, the four songs of Illuminate. We'll save that as the last one for today. Illuminate is a... Li oh, no, 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 no. Sorry. I prefer... I prefer officially released songs only. <clears throat> if it's leaked, I might get in trouble for featuring it. You know? Super Earth Anthem. Super Earth. Yeah, no to leaks, and I prefer only published songs. Published, like officially published. If it's leaked, if it's fan made, that's not really my thing. One moment, chat. Something came up. All right. Super Earth Anthem. Let's go. <clears throat> oh. Hydrate. <clears throat> okay. I didn't expect full chorale with lyrics. Wow, that is beautiful.
Damn. Sorry, I couldn't hear you through all that freedom. Damn, that is beautiful, very emotionally sung. And I can imagine it being a heightened, exaggerated anthem of a fictional super earth. <laughs> that is beautiful. I have to take a listen to it another time and maybe pay attention to the lyrics. But now I'm just paying attention to how beautiful the harmony is. And there's some unconventional harmonic changes that you wouldn't hear in a normal anthem on earth, on regular earth. And I, I think they were using some chromatic cadences that kind of sound dissonant to sing, but it works in a heightened fantasy militaristic setting. There's some something about it that makes you feel proud. I don't know why. There, there's just the, this certain power of music that's the beauty of music, you know, even without lyrics, especially without lyrics. There's so much power with music with just three or four chords simultaneously happening or consecutively happening. You are immediately feeling specific emotions and you don't understand why, but that's just the power of music. And this is why I love being a musician. Uh, th this is why I love being a musician. You know, music is always a new discovery. It's always a mystery waiting to be felt, waiting to be experienced. And this is a beautiful piece of music. <sighs> yeah. I'm so glad that a lot of you suggested that I check out Helldivers 2. The soundtrack is amazing. I am all for the I am all for the fantasy synthetic brass vibe. It is just beautiful. But I think I will end the stream here, chat, because uh, <clears throat> I actually received an an emergency I have to attend to, but if you like, and we can, we, you can tell me right now, do you want a part two of this stream next week? We'll continue listening to the songs that we did not get to hear today. And let me know if you want that, because I definitely am open for that. Yeah, because this is a kind of long soundtrack. L last time we did Portal 1 which is only 12 songs, so we one stream can fit that. We also did the, the, the noise update for Pizza Tower, which is also just like nine songs, so it's easy to fit that in one stream. But next week, uh, you know, Helldivers 2, 38 songs so far in this playlist, and a lot of them have multiple versions of each, so <clears throat> definitely not going to fit today. But I'm definitely open to... Uh, doing a second part. I'm cool with it, you know. I'm cool with it. Uh, it will be edited down in a proper video later on, and I will be adding violin jams to songs that I think are fun to jam along to. Not all of them. I think some of them are better just left as brass instruments. But I definitely at least... So I, I, can, I can definitely at least see at least two or three of the songs will be fun to add some violin improv to it. But yeah, I can't play the violin for now anyway because uh, I'm still kind of recovering from a finger sprain. So at least one more week of no violin for me. Um, we can listen to all the variants on stream, but on the edited video, uh, <clears throat> I will choose the highlights. But yeah, thank you so much for hanging out. Thank you to our amazing mods, Parlock and Hoxix Phoenix, for keeping the chat safe and peaceful for everyone. Thank you so much for, for hanging out. Thank you for all the super chats. Thank you for all the re uh, continuation of the memberships. I appreciate that. I appreciate the support. And yes, there's going to be a huge rebrand happening in the channel, not just in the channel, in 
my musician career overall. But more on that at a later date. But in the meantime, thank you so much, everyone. Please have a safe and fun rest of your week. And I will see you on the next video. This coming Friday will be another... Uh, coming out this Friday, it's either going to be uh, League, of Leg uh, League of Legends video again or Devil May Cry 5 V's theme. And in the meantime, take care, everyone. Bye.